ask you today, what is the most important message you have for communities and states that are reopening, even as our public health experts make it clear it's too soon? Tell us what the consequences are. Thank you very much for that question, Senator Murray. As I've said many times publicly, what we have worked out is a guideline framework of how to safely uh, open America again. And there are several checkpoints in that with a gateway first of showing, depending on the dynamics of an outbreak in a particular region, state, city, or area, that would really determine the speed and the pace with which one does re-enter or reopen. So my, my word has been, and I've been very consistent in this, that I get concerned if you have a situation where the dynamics of an outbreak in an area are such that you are not seeing that gradual over 14 day decrease that would allow you to go to phase one. And then if you pass the checkpoints of phase one, go to phase two and phase three. What I've expressed then and again is my concern that if some areas, cities, states, or what have you, jump over those various checkpoints and prematurely open up without having the capability of being able to respond effectively and efficiently, my concern is that we will start to see little spikes that might turn into outbreaks. So therefore, I have been being very clear in my message to try to the best extent possible to go by the guidelines, which have been very well thought out and very well delineated. So if a community or a state or a region doesn't go by those guidelines and reopen, <clears throat> the consequences could be pretty dire, correct? The consequences could be uh, uh, really uh, serious, uh, particularly, and this is something that I think we also should pay attention to, that states, even if they're doing it at an appropriate pace, which many of them are and will, namely a pace that's commensurate with the dynamics of the outbreak, that they have in place already the capability that when there will be cases, there is no doubt, even under the best of circumstances, when you pull back on mitigation, you will see some cases appear. It's the ability and the capability of responding to those cases with good identification, isolation, and contact tracing will determine whether you can continue to go forward as you try to reopen America. Uh, the official statistic, uh, Dr. Fauci, is that 80,000 Americans have died uh, from the pandemic. There are some epidemiologists who suggest the number may be 50% higher than that. Uh, what do you think? Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure, Senator Sanders, if it's going to be 50% higher, but most of us feel that the number of deaths are likely higher than that number because th given the situation, particularly in New York City, when they were really strapped with a very serious challenge to their healthcare system, that there may have been people who died at home who did have right. COVID, who were not counted as COVID because they never really got to the hospital. So in direct answer to your question, I think you are correct that the number is likely higher. I, I don't know exactly what percent right. higher, but almost certainly it's higher. 